Okay, let's see. We got <clears throat> the three rolls of dimes right here. Uh, don't mind me. I'm thinking maybe this one right here, possibly, but I doubt it. And because I see a lot of clad coins there. Or as I want to, as I prefer to call them, really sandwich coins because they're two different metals sandwiched together. Too shiny. Oh, dirty right there. Maybe right there, maybe. And then, maybe that one, end one right here. Maybe. So let's see what we get, shall we? Well, my YouTube fam out there, out of all those $15 in dimes, I found these ones to show you. So let's give you the big screen. How about that? Let me pop you up a bit more so you can see that. First dime. Okay, I mean, it looks, everything looks good, right? Look at the W right there in, in we, right before, right after God. That's just a weird looking W, don't you think? Look at that. All the times I've looked at actually at, don't look like that at all. And that's not the only one. I mean, if you look, that's in 1976. And 1980. They got two dimes with print errors because I have no idea why but those those W's are just way off in both those ones as you can see and the third one I gotta show you you see there's ring you got a grease error on the front right here where the W is right here and right there a bit the W's almost gone right there and it also shows on the 4 and the 9 right there. And on the L of Liberty, as you see. But that's not what makes it so interesting. Okay. That's a die crack right there. And that's a nice one. Here, I'll zoom in and I'll show you. That is a massive die crack. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The M looks like it's not happy anymore. I mean, I'm not worried about that scratch. But that is definitely die crack. And that's why I kept this dime. Well, next up is the Almighty Nichols.